Here at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, we are committed to a sustainable future for our community. Geothermal energy systems are essential to our institutional path toward carbon neutrality by providing a reliable, efficient, and cost-effective way to heat and cool our campus. In 2010, Elliott and Stoddard Halls were the first buildings to be converted to geothermal heating and cooling. Elliott and Stoddard marked the beginning of Miami's transition toward carbon neutrality. About 80% of uh, what you make actually makes it to the building. You lose 20% just mm -hmm. through heat loss. So we're paying to make that heat, and we're paying to take heat out of water to make cold water at the same time and dispense it to the atmosphere. What if you could recapture that heat and use it? Wouldn't that be more efficient? Wouldn't that be better for the environment? Well, the answer is yes. And so what we have is uh, what we call simultaneous heating and cooling. Right now, we are standing in the heart of geothermal energy exchange. Beneath this pond and the surrounding area, there are five miles of tunnel running underground. These tunnels house 690 geothermal wells drilled 600 feet deep in the ground, moving water through a closed loop water circulation system. The facility can run at any given time with limited personnel required to operate it. Geothermal is over 400% more efficient than traditional heating and cooling systems. The physical facilities team color coordinated the piping for educational purposes and ease of identification. The colors of the piping represent the temperature of water stored in them. Blue is cold water, red is hot water, green is low temperature water, and purple moves geothermal water to the well field. I'm currently standing in Stanton Hall, a residential building which houses over 200 students, including myself. I've lived in Stanton Hall for two years and the energy system has always been reliable for myself and all of the students residing here. No matter the temperature outside, the students have the ability to control their room's temperature to their comfort levels. By 2026, only 4% of academic buildings, resident halls, and auxiliary buildings will use steam. Geothermal energy saves money on energy costs, chemicals, and regulatory compliance. It also saves water. The system we use has projected a 43% reduction in water use, and that's millions of gallons saved every year. Stanton Hall became the 27th LEED certified building on campus. By 2016, Western Dining Commons, Young Hall, Hillcrest, and Stonebridge Residence Halls, all geothermal buildings, became LEED Silver certified. 32 buildings on the Oxford campus display LEED gold and silver plaques. These investments and successes enabled us to stop burning coal in 2017, and geothermal energy systems have played a major role in paving the way toward carbon neutrality.